Hello folks, welcome to KB Report, my channel, the Irish Country Papa. Here is our first harvest of chilies. We're after getting a considerable number. One red one hiding there in the back. We, for some reason, planted butternut squash in the tunnel. And as you can see, it's turning into a bit of a little shop of horrors. And it's spreading considerably on everything. At least you know next year to plant these outside in the raised bed and some other bits planted. We planted some more chilies, we have some basil which I haven't actually done anything with yet. I need to pick some basil pesto we gone into flower. There's some strawberry baskets in the back. We have a great crop from them. We have a local um I see a pollinator popping his head in here. Um, we have a local strawberry farm so I wasn't able to go there and get quite a lot which I have frozen for smoothies and stuff for during the winter. So for this season, we're okay for strawberries, but next next year I'm gonna have to consider, uh, concentrate more on strawberries and fruit. Um, we have some peppers here, hiding somewhere. Some small ones. I've harvested a few already. And we've got some eating insect has been quite interested in them also. They didn't do too many of those, so again we know what we're doing a bit better with this. With the tomatoes, I pruned them back too severely. Um, because it was my first time to grow tomatoes, I also planted them too closely together. So next year I'll, I'll have more information and I'll know what to do a bit better. And I think people are not having great success with their tomatoes this year. As you can see it's a bit of a jungle here to come through. We have some Brussels sprouts also. And they seem to be doing their thing there. And I have a lemon tree here. Hasn't done much. A few odds and ends. The fig tree. They will go into the next pony tunnel that, that I'm planning on. You can see there. The squash has just taken over that complete bed and it's going into the next bed. We have a few onions planted here. We mainly have the main batch of onions outside in a raised bed. And we started with our irrigation system, but we didn't do any more with that. So I'm tending to have to hand water stuff with our irrigation system. So this, the tunnel we have is like the a rigid plastic and um, we had it supplied and installed by KSB they're in based in Longford in Ireland and um, found a very good company and I've since ordered a second tunnel so this next tunnel I'm going to put in strawberries I'm going to try and put a glass house inside the tunnel which I've heard from somebody else that is doing, doing that in Ireland and there he's growing mangoes so if I can try and get some exotic fruit going, I'd be super happy. I'm going to fill up a lot with strawberries. And I have some blueberries that are... We're going to plant them in the peatland because they like high acidity. But that's all a plan for the future. So this year was just getting... Getting to organise what goes inside the tunnel, what's best for outside for the raised beds. Super happy with that harvest of the chilies. Um, I'm going to try and make chilli jam. I think we've got quite a quantity there now, so that should be successful. I want to get my herb garden up and running. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how many squash we actually get from this crazy monstrosity that has taken over. Um, I'll show you the squash here. So the squash with the little bulbous bottom is a female, and the one without is a male. So I'm having to hand pollinate so I'm taking this head and I'm getting to the, the stamen and I'm inserting that in a head of a female so that they're being pollinated. We're also trying to leave the doors open when it's super warm and um, to let our own bees come in and for them to pollinate stuff. So it will be interesting to see how many squash we actually get from this year's harvest. Um, I'm expecting a high success rate, so we'll have to wait and see. And so that's just a short video from today. 
Um, and I'm really looking forward to our second tunnel. We know a bit better about how to set things up. We purchased these. Um, they're like maintenance free. Raised bed systems that click together. They're modular so you can have them at certain lengths. And um, they are too high. One, two. Um, so you can have them higher if you've got mobility issues or a bad back or you're just at that age where it's easier to have things up higher but I would think minimum of two would be be necessary um, and they can also obviously be used inside and outside so we have some more of those modular systems that we're going to put because we have had some of the the timber railway sleepers that we used and they have all kind of disintegrated so I think that type is work the investment seeing it is a lot of work to get your beds up and running filling it all that up with the wheelbarrows is is something you really only want to be doing once and then obviously you're going to top it up every year get your organic matter back in there dress it off with your compost give everything a good rotate through so it's it's kind of uniform but um we've done the hard work here this year i don't know how much i'm gonna to have to strip it back for the winter um, and tidy it all up i want to add more manure which we're making here ourselves from the horses and the sheep and the chickens and we'll just mix that through with some soil and we have some mulch there as well for, for stuff that needs to be a bit more aerated. So this is polytunnel number one. So I hope you enjoyed that video guys and talk to you in the next video.